years old in this excerpt. So, I was born in, um, in Jamaica. Yeah! You always have some motherfucking Jamaican in the audience. <laughs> the young folks who came on here and did their thing earlier. It was rocking shit and just, you know, it made me feel a little more confident about having gray hairs on my front, you know. <laughs> because these things happen when you get old. Nobody tells you. It's a big secret. But it keeps us a secret, but I'm telling you. Everything grows gray. I <laughs> my mic's falling. What? My stick is falling down. <laughs> yeah, but it's gonna fall down again, so, you know. That's fantastic. It's always good to get a change of sticks. How about a bow? Uh, yeah, it's not, it's not What's the other one girl? Yeah. It's the 1.3. Oh, Give it up for Gary. Yeah. I feel like I hit gold when I find three dirty picture magazines in the pile of abandoned books under the house. I dust them off to reveal a series of blondes wearing very small brassieres over their very large breasts. I read out women who are excited to discover on and all of them have their legs wide open. I look at the pictures of them rubbing their cocoa breads with shiny red fingernails. It's all very strange and exciting. My heart is beating fast and then slow and then fast again. In some of the pictures the women look happy and sad at the same time. As if they're eating an ice cream cone that isn't really their favorite flavor. <laughs> Looking at the photographs makes me want to touch myself too. Same as those in the magazine. I decide the only way to find out is to have a look. I choose the one place nobody would find me. The outhouse. Day after day it stands empty until there is a water lock off. Not much more than a woodshed built over a 20 foot concrete covered sewage receptacle. The pig toilet is so small that only a makeshift toilet seat of wood can fit inside. And it smells like milk farts all the time. <laughs> I look down into the hole. There are giant roaches crawling up the inner walls of the seat. Further down, bits of things are floating in what looks like a big black swimming pool. I climb up onto the seat and slowly squat. My naked bottom hangs over the gigantic opening of the square toilet. I carefully examine my cocoa bread. There are some little things that look like mouths keeping a big secret. So I push the mouths open and tongue pokes out at me. I poke the tongue and then the lips get wet. So I poke the tongue again and again and again. The lips get wetter and wetter and wetter. I'm bouncing up and down so much my foot slips and I fall into the pit. My right leg and right arm are both completely in. The left arm is grasping at the side of the seat. Just barely kept me from falling all the way in. I can't call anyone to help me. The dirty magazine is sprawled open on the floor with devil daisies, bottom cheeks separated by the spine of the open pages. The stench from the waist below makes it difficult to breathe, and there are things I cannot see crawling along my foot. My palms sweat and make it almost impossible to get a firm grip on the wood. It takes me about an hour to climb up and out of the mouth of the pit. And when I finally collapse, shaking and picking pieces of roach legs off my hip and thigh, I know I'm never going to look at my cocoa breath ever. <laughs>